Ten reasons expats could get murdered in the Philippines. The first one is the love triangle, most famous one in the media, where you have a foreigner that's married a Filipina who has a Filipino boyfriend, husband, lover, or, you know, somebody that is either going to be jealous or is in co uh, working with the woman um, to eventually murder the husband for the wealth. It's common and well known. Family manipulation, um, where the girls be coerced into marriage, relationship, whatever with a foreigner, and the family are expecting to get rich off the foreigner, and sometimes they ends up in some disputes because a lot of the foreigners aren't as wealthy as their family wanted, and as such can be quite dangerous. Inherited wealth. Your partner has inherited some wealth from the family. As such, um, rivals, other members of family, want to gain whatever you inherited. And also, because you've inherited it, everyone's aware you've got it. As such, that puts you at risk. Business rivals. If you start a business in the Philippines, especially if it's something where there's already local opposition or operating local businesses, you're going to get some rivals. And even Filipino to Filipino, it can be quite dangerous. I mean, the, even down to a small barbecue leech on station, I've read in the papers before where people have actually killed each other over a barbecue station because one guy's worked for the one station and then he's got enough money to start his own and he puts it right next to the one that he used to work, work for and then obviously they fell out. Opening a business that is connected to the wrong people. Uh, a typical example of this is the guys that do the rice processing. Those, those families have been doing it for a very long time and don't take too kindly to people starting to do something that they've been doing for a long period of time. And there's a reason nobody else is doing it and you're going to find out. Marrying a bad woman. This has happened to a few expats over the years. Um, some that have left, the, I think the worst case would be the, there was a guy left in CDO by his partner she went back to the US uh, took her so his social security money took the house moved in with her boyfriend and made his life well left him in the Philippines to die because he was in a bad way and because he was unfit to travel he was left there to die um, to the point that the, some of the expat community were helping fund for medication that's how bad things were because uh, he had no money she took everything people owing you money um, this has happened a few times while I was in the Philippines. There was a case where a guy was sold, an expat had sold his house to a Filipino woman. She couldn't afford to pay for it, but there was, you know, she had some of the paperwork, etc., etc., and she had him murdered. Um, this is the next door neighbor. Um, Debts are very risky in the Philippines, especially if it can be written off when you write somebody's life off. Causing a Filipino to lose face. People losing face, not publicly, um, it's not really an issue because they'll often just take it on the chin. But when you do it publicly, it embarrasses them, especially if they're in a position of influence or power. Um, as such, they may do something crazy, um, but also a lot of times they will get away with it because they're already in a position of power. Number nine, politics. Staying away from politicians is always advisable, um, not just in the Philippines. But the, the problem with politicians is you've got two sides of the coin. You've got those that you know, um, and generally they may be friendly, but at the same time, there is always a risk of assassination. The Philippines has some very bloody elections. Um, it doesn't really get as much coverage in the media as it should do, but then again, that's probably done on purpose. Um, but being close to somebody can offer a risk to you. Also, you have the other side of people that you don't know. This has happened a few times where people have upset politicians' sons, politicians, etc. Just doing arrogant expat thing and bumped into the wrong Filipino that won't just take it lying down but go back to the car and get a pistol. 
Loose talk. The loose talk of wealth is a risk as well. There was an expat murdered because he had 2 million pesos in his safe and his wife had actually been talking about how much money they had in the house to some neighbours. Any prizes for guessing who murdered him? Um, there was another one where it was to do with a bowling club, I remember. It's, they're selling, they were selling the bowling club and they, it was being bought in installments by the Hong Kong bowl, Green Bowls. <coughs> And they were getting large installments. Somebody brought up how much they were getting paid. And then that guy suddenly had a lot of problems in the Philippines. Um, ended up going to jail. And like some of the other stories you've probably seen on some of my other videos, they sort of end up stuck there because they're being milked of every coin they've got. Um, those are what I would say my top 10 off the top of my head. I just did this on the fly. But these are all the ones that would be a high risk. You notice I didn't put alcohol in there. The reason I didn't put alcohol, because alcohol relates to face and the sort of yelling, getting in trouble with Filipinos, the interlink, because they're all... Alcohol is one of the big problems... Uh, relating to what happens to expats but at the same time you'll find at least one of these things I've covered in the 10 that would have led to somebody's death whether it's they cause a Filipino to lose face arguing with a politician's son it is normally one of these key elements in this 10 which I would say are the highest risks to foreigners as you probably noticed, I didn't say MPA and I didn't say MILF um, because neither of those are a high risk to the average expat. A lot of the expats that go missing with them um, are related to mining and other industries. They're not random expats. Random expats have no money. They've got no assets. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.